What's going on creative crew? Welcome back to another video. If you clicked on this, more than likely you are looking to figure out how to skyrocket your Instagram engagement. And I'm here to tell you that I have four things that you can do today to see a sizable impact on your Instagram presence. Roll intro. Okay, so for those of you who haven't joined the crew yet, my name is Jay and I make videos to help content creators make better content. So let's go ahead and start breaking down the four things that you can do to supercharge your Instagram impact. And number one is utilize all of the available features. And I mean all of them. You need to be using Instagram Reels, you need to be using the carousels, regular posting, IGTV, uh, stories. You need to use all of the assets that you have. And that's because, think about it, as a company, they want to see that you are a well-rounded content producer. You are not working for them essentially, but you are keeping their business going. They need people to actually post on the platform. So before they assist you by pushing out your content or the algorithm assists you, you need to show that you are a well-rounded content creator by using all of their tools to make content. With the number one most important right now being Instagram Reels. And that's because they're trying to take on their competitor, which is TikTok. Now here's an insider tip. Make sure that you make Instagram Reels directly from Instagram. Don't cross post from TikTok. You're not going to get as much push when you cross post from TikTok. So make sure to make it natively and then you're going to see a huge difference. Tip number two, I wanna make sure that you are posting consistently. And I know that you hear that everywhere and that usually the next question is, well, how many times do I post? I don't have an answer for you. No one has an answer for you. There's not a magical number for how many times you need to post. Posting too many times comes off as spammy and they will actually block your account if you post too many times in a single day. So I always strive for a nice balance. I'll make three standard posts in a single week, two to three. I'm not a slave to that rule. When it comes to Instagram Reels, I'll try to make anywhere between four and five Instagram Reels stories. I'll post about three to four a day. And that is just how I structure my content. Now, when you're posting consistently, they're going to be able to push out your stuff a lot further because number one, you have more stuff to push out. And number two, there's more of a likelihood that something is going to hit onto the algorithm. Rhythm. Keep in mind, it's kind of like throwing darts at a dartboard. You keep repeatedly throwing, keep repeatedly throwing, feeding the beast, and eventually something is going to hit and take off. Whenever you think to yourself, do I really need to be posting this? I don't wanna post here. Remember your overall goal to increase your engagement. And in order to do that, you need to post. Tip number three, you need to come off as an authentic human being. We don't want spammers, nor does Instagram. They want to weed out the people who are just spamming, spamming messages, spamming likes, spamming, spamming saves. They're trying to weed those people out. They don't want to help push those people forward. So be an authentic human being. When you go through and when you search for other content, for people to engage with, for people to like their photos and comment, make sure that you're making actual thoughtful, real, intelligent, comments and also do not just scroll through double tap scroll through make a comment scroll through double tap for hours at a time once again that comes off as spammy and instagram will block your account or you'll get a shadow ban which essentially means that when you post something under a hashtag your content will not show up both of those things are not good. So you want to not only be feeding the beast and making content of your own, but also be authentic. When you go and search for other people's content to like and share and all that fun stuff, make sure that you're making actual comments and you're not just asking people to check out your profile and you're not just asking people to follow you for a follow back. And guys, if you're getting anything out of this, go ahead and click on that subscribe button to join the creative crew. I love making these videos for you guys so that I can help you guys reach the next level. And the final tip that I have for you is that you need to be engaging with other people on the platform. 
So if it were all done, if there were no algorithm, I would say screw it. I would push out my own content. And that's something that you need to do. Don't just look for the algorithm's help. Actively go out and make your own content known. In order to do this, when you post something, let's say you're posting in the travel niche and you take a landscape shot and you post it up and you have the hashtag wanderlust. What you need to do now is go to that hashtag, search the hashtag wanderlust and comment, subscribe to different people, share their footage, save their stuff. You need to actually be following and liking and knowing and letting people know that you exist. If you do this, people's natural curiosity will get the better of them. When you go on and you comment on somebody, let's say you're the first or the second commenter and you say, this shot is phenomenal. I remember when I went to Fiji for the first time, Fuji, Fiji, Fuji. I remember when I went there for the first time, I had such an amazingly incredible time. They now see that comment. They got that notification. They read your comment. They say, oh, you've traveled here before too. Yeah, it was an amazing time. They check out your profile. If you guys align, they follow you. They like your content. You now have a follower and someone who likes your content. Remember, you are on the search for people who fit your niche, not just people who follow you blindly. And that is because you need to actually gain followers so that you can actually grow your business. If you just have people who double tap and double tap and double tap and like your stuff, but they're not actually subscribed to you and they're not in your niche, then those people aren't going to convert. Those people, they matter, but they're not your overall target market. So make sure that when you're being an authentic human being, you are actively going out and communicating and connecting with other creators on the platform. But those are the four tips that I have for you. Number one, make sure to like, comment, share, be an authentic human being. Number two, make sure to actually search the hashtags that you're posting for and connect with people on them. Number three, use all of the features that Instagram has to offer. I mean all of them. And number four, make sure that you are posting consistently. Okay, so with that, I was on a roll. I hope that you guys got something out of it. If you did, you know what to do. Go ahead, subscribe, do all the buttons, click all the things down there. You know exactly what to do. And with that, catch you later, creative crew.